Hi, welcome to the second video in the Law of Attraction series. In the first video, we talked about the Law of Attraction, the science of attracting more of what you want and less of what you don't want in your business and in your life. In summary, at every moment, including right now, and right now, and right now, we are emitting vibrations that line up with our mood or feeling at every moment. And as you remember from the last video, the Law of Attraction picks up the vibrations and returns more of the same. Remember that there's only two kinds of vibrations, negative and positive vibrations. The Law of Attraction is like gravity. Each of us interact with the Law of Attraction at every moment, whether we like it or not, believe it or not, understand it or not, or ignore it or not. So doesn't it make sense to learn how to use the Law of Attraction more effectively? Hi, I'm Tom LeBlanc. I hope you enjoy this video. This video is going to talk about how to become more deliberate in what you attract. There's good things out there and there's bad things. You can decide which ones you choose to attract. Which one will you attract? Fear, lack, guilt, doubt, or love, and abundance and confidence and courage. You get to choose. You get to choose what you attract into your life. We choose by changing what we say. In order to attract more positive things, we need to become more deliberate in our attraction. In order to become more deliberate, we must deliberately monitor the vibes we're sending to be aware of what we think, feel, and say. Deliberate attraction means becoming more deliberate in what we think, feel, and say. We start by changing our words because words influence our moods and feelings and therefore our vibes. Remember, at every moment, including right now and right now and right now, we are emitting vibrations that line up with our mood or feeling. Our words influence those moods and feelings. Remember the Law of Attraction loop. We have a mood or a feeling. We emit corresponding vibes. Law of Attraction constantly checks and matches those vibes. Law of Attraction gives us more of the same. Be careful with these three words, don't, not, and no because they focus on what you don't want. Using them brings attention, energy, and focus to the things you don't want. For example, don't forget the eggs. You know, I always think, what if I have a poor memory and I can only remember the last three or four words? My wife will sometimes say, don't forget the eggs, and I'll say, you want me to forget what? Forget the eggs? She said, remember to get the eggs. Oh, okay, I'll remember to get the eggs. And then um, what about I don't want to lose my keys or I don't want to worry about it. I don't want to be afraid of calling people. Don't panic. Now don't strike out. I've heard of some times when a batter was told not to strike out and they struck out. Some more examples. Don't picture a snowman. Now try, as I say this, try not to picture a snowman. Don't picture a snowman. Don't picture the Olympic rings. It's almost like we only hear the last two or three words, right? Picture a snowman. Picture the Olympic rings. So what do I say? Here's what you say. So what do I want? When you think of what you don't want, flip it over and ask yourself, what do I want? When you go from what you don't want to what you do want, the words change. And when the words change, the vibes change. Question, when the words change, did it feel different to you? When the words change, the mood change, and the vibrations change, offering up new vibes for the Law of Attraction to amplify and return to us more of the same. Michael Loger has developed a interesting little diagram, an exercise he calls contrast to clarity. The best way to find out what you want, he says, is to list the things that you don't want first. Then ask yourself the question, what do I want? For example, he calls it contrast to clarity. The contrast is the things you don't want. Clarity is the things I do want. So here's what you do. You, you draw a line down this piece of paper and you write down some things that you don't want. I don't want to work with negative people. You flip that. So what do, what do I want? Well, I want to work with positive people. Here's another one. I don't want to work with people who can't communicate. Ask yourself, well, what do I want? I want to work with good communicators. There's another one. I don't want to have to push people all the time. So what do I want? I want to work with self-starters. This exercise can help you determine what you really want. 
So we just finished the first step, which is to identify what you really want. That's the first step in the law of attraction. Now just to look ahead, step two is to raise your vibrations of what you want. And step three is to allow it. Now, but there's one more thing. Michael Leger says, observing what you don't like or don't want causes you to attract more of it. That's right. Just observing it. We need to pay attention. Because when you pay attention to and you observe what you have attracted into your life, you create all the conditions to get more of the same. For example, when you look into an empty wallet, what kind of feelings do you have? Perhaps feelings of lack? Feelings of maybe indebtedness? That'll generate vibes that'll get amplified and returned by the law of attraction. Here's something he developed. Michael Leger also talks about the observation cycle. Number one, we observe what we have attracted. We observe an empty wallet, for example. While observing it, we send out a vibe. In this case, be a negative vibe, a vibe of lack, financial insecurity, baby. And that uh, the, the law of attraction matches that vibe, that negative vibe. It manifests more of the same. Hence, the observation cycle continues. Examples, what kind of mood or feeling or vibe do you have when you look at your wallet or your bank balance? When you look at yourself in the mirror? When you look at your business growth or lack of? Question, what have you been attracting, either intentionally or unintentionally? You see, we attract things all the time. Sometimes we attract things we don't want because it's unintentional. But if we can intentionally learn to be a deliberate attractor, then we can attract the things we do want. So here's the key for applying the law of attraction in your world. Again, it's learn how to use the law of attraction more deliberately, more intentionally, to attract more of what you want and less of what you don't want. In summary, at every moment, including right now, and right now, and right now, everyone has a mood or a feeling. And that mood or feeling has caused you to send out a vibration, either positive or negative, and the law of attraction, which is that universal energy around you, is checking and checking and checking to find out what the vibration is. And when it finds it, it matches it by giving you more of the same, whether negative or positive, good or bad, healthy or unhealthy. Some more summary. When you change the words, you change the feeling or mood. If that changes the vibrations, then the law of attraction gives you more of the same. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit my blog. Follow me on Twitter and stay tuned to our next video in this series, which is going to talk about how to raise your vibrations. That's step two of the Law of Attraction process.